Hi, my name is Ron Rogers, and this video is entitled United States Air Force T-37 Instructor Pilot Tales. Now, I was what was known as a plowback tweet instructor. Plowback means that I went through as a pilot in the Air Force and was selected to remain as an instructor. So I barely know how to fly, and now I'm teaching. Yes, interesting. And this is called a tweet because it was uh, otherwise known as a 6,000-pound dog whistle or the only aircraft specifically designed to convert JP-4 directly into noise. Now, the T-37 is a rather daunting aircraft to learn to fly in. Lots of buttons, lots of knobs, lots of dials. The instructional program is intense. The Air Force wants to find out rather quickly if you can cut it, and if you can't, they don't want to waste a lot of money and time on you. So, we get right into it. Patterns, spins, navigation, formation, cross-country, aerobatics, etc. It's a rather intense program. Now, as I was learning to be an instructor in the T-37, they said sometime during your career, more likely than not, you will have a student who freezes up during a spin because spins were quite dynamic. Now, I have another video talking about how I did a rather interesting thing, uh, not too smart. I, I taught myself how to do spins with my uh, wife sitting in the right seat in a Cessna 150. So I, I enjoy spins. I still do. I, uh, I fly them in my uh, Great Lakes biplane and enjoy them. But uh, for a new student, they can be a bit overwhelming. And... I'm going to go up and I'm going to do spins with my very first student. So I go up and I demonstrate a, a spin. And there's a rather um, long procedure. 43 words, 7 lines. And it starts out, throttles idle, rudder and ailerons neutral, stick abruptly, full aft, and hold. Okay, well I demonstrate the, a spin, recover from it. Now we go back up. And it's his turn. So I said, okay, go ahead, enter the spin. So we enter the spin, kicks in the rudder, and away we go. Okay, got the first part right. Throttle's idle, rudder and aileron's neutral, and then he just stops. And I'm kind of going, hmm, well, that doesn't look good. So I try to give him the benefit of the doubt, and I say, recover. You know, kind of continue with the procedure. Nothing. I say, recover again. Nothing. I look over, and I can see him staring straight ahead, holding the stick back as hard as he can, and just shaking, physically shaking in the aircraft. So I say, okay, I've got it. That's the typical instructor thing. I've got it. So I'm going to save the day here. Well, I go to move the stick, and I cannot budge it. So, of course, what do I do? I say, I've got it. It worked so well the first time. So I said, I've got it. Tried to move the stick. Nothing. I looked over. I saw him shaking. So I did the next step in the procedure I had determined, you know, what are you going to do if a student freezes on the spin? So I took my fist and I banged him across the chest. Nothing. So I banged him across the chest again. Still nothing. Well, this isn't looking good. So I reach over, next step, grab his oxygen mask, jerk it off his face. He kind of relax, relaxes a little bit and like, what? What's going on here? I'm able to take the aircraft back from him at that time, recover from the spin. We go out, we do a few more maneuvers, and we come back and land. And uh, as we're walking in, he's kind of laughing. And he says, well, that was interesting. He says, uh, what would you have done if uh, you couldn't have gotten the aircraft away from me? And I said, oh, I had a very specific plan. I said, first of all, we're sitting side by side, so I would reach over and I would raise your hand grip on your ejection seat. Well, that exposes the trigger that fires the little cartridge that fires him out of the aircraft. So I said I would take my BIC pin out of my uh, pocket, because all true instructors have uh, two BIC pins in their pocket. I would take it out, and I would use it to trigger the uh, ejection seat handle, and I would fire him out of the aircraft. He goes, what? I said, yep, you would come down under the parachute, I would fly the aircraft back, be a hero for um, recovering the aircraft. Ah, they'd put a new canopy on it. Everything would be good as new. Of course, put a new seat in it. And uh, we'd be back in operation. And he goes, you wouldn't do that, really? And I go, of course you'd, 
Of course I would. What do you think I'm going to do? Well, first of all, if you're frozen, I'm not going to eject. It's a lot easier just to eject you. Well, needless to say, that got his attention, and uh, he never froze on a spin again and actually completed pilot training and graduated. Thanks for watching.